I love that. Is it Memorex or is it Live? Well, is it Tremolo or is it Vibrato? There, on the accordion, I've heard both terms used, so that's why I'm going to nail it down right now. In fact, I'm going to read it legit from the Webster's Dictionary. That way, you're not quoting me, you're quoting Webster. Ready for this? Tremolo. A tumultuous effort produced by rapid repeat of a single note. I love how they use their own word in the definition. Tumultuous. Rapid repeat. Well, if I saw that, I'd go repeat of a single note. That'd be tremolo then. Repeat of a single note, right? That's tremolo. Okay. Now, let's see what the definition of vibrato is. A tumultuous... Oh! <laughs> they're using the same word. Oh, they say or pulsating. Oh, no, wait, okay, now we can define pulsating. Pulsating effort produced on an instrument or vocal tone by minute or rapid variation in pitch. So they're saying tremolo is this and vibrato is this. Well, I didn't think it was either one of those, did you? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Here's what I think tremolo and vibrato is. First of all, you've seen violin players. You know how they'll wiggle, you know, when they're playing the violin, they rotate their hand on that string. What they're doing, they're actually doing that vibrato. They're rocking from one pitch to just a tad pitch off, which we can't do here. Because we go a whole half step. In other words, we can only do a half step. That's it. So when they rock on that vibrato on the instrument, that's changing the pitch just a tad, which we can't do. But that, ah, uh, that's so pretty. Wow. Well, wait a minute. We do do that. Watch. Wait a minute. Um, I'm going to go to that single C. I'm going to play C. Listen. Hear the vibrato? Here. I'll do it again so you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear it on the, on, the DVD, on the DVD. There's the single tone. Now this second read is off pitched just like that violin player does it. You can hear that pulsating. So, according to this, that was vibrato. And we can't do tremolo. Unless we do this. Or unless we do... Did I give away bellow shake? <laughs> Rapid. What was the term they used? Tumultuous. Repeat on the same note. So that's tremolo, gang. We call it bellow shake. <laughs> we do have a couple of other terms that are indigenous just to us. Let me show you these. These are too cute. If I put down a note, and I do just like that violin player did, and just wiggle my hand a little bit, can you feel that same, hear that same pulsating sound that we heard with that reed? Now to do that, I can't have my accordion buried on my chest real tight. It has to be loose a little, because in reality, what you're hearing is my bellows. I'm, I'm making it do it to over-exaggerate a bit. By me rocking my accordion, it's the bellows are feeling what I'm doing here. So any movement, and it looks good. If I go. It even looks good. It adds a little vibrato to it. <laughs> so that's what we call vibrato. So that you don't confuse my, my, my little two-read two sound, I'm going to go back to my single read. There's another thing called shimmer. And I'm going to take my hand out of the trap so you can see it's not me doing it. I'm going to put down a block chord, and I'm just being nervous is really all it amounts to. That's all. There's a cool way to use that in songs uh, like, uh, let's see, um, Somewhere My Love Is Pretty. It's still that, it's like a single note vibrato, but it's all of them. 
I can't do it too long because it actually does make me nervous. <laughs> that's, that's why so many beginner players, I feel so sorry for them. They're like... They're actually shaking. And you can hear it in the bellows because of it. So if you're scared, pull firm. The firmer you pull, the less you'll hear. So in order to hear a vibrato, you've got to be gentle. Don't pull hard or you're not going to hear it. You've got to let up and let the bellows do it. See, if I pull firm, you don't hear it as much. I have to be gentle with the bellows. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I got another one for you. I'm going to hold a chord here and wait bye bye. Still call it my problem. I love the sound of that. The problem is, is how do I play basses and wait bye bye? I have to hold it and just end it. Just a little end of the tag. Yeah. Just a little fade out. Don't overdo it. Because I mean, you can go. You're gonna make your audience <coughs> nervous. Just a little touch, a little touch here and there. So many people forget about this. And, all, and it's the bellows doing it. It's not my hand, it's the bellows. So next we're going to get into... i got to do accents first, guys, first. Then we're going to do bellow shape. 